Hello, this is Alberto from Hydrogen Solution on Demand. Today I'm going to show you guys how we control the fuel injection, also the amperage of the hydrogen box. We have an app on the phone, and then we control the fuel injection and the amps on the hydrogen cell. The fuel injection, we have like a, a 0 to 265, 0, and all the fuel go to the engine. In 265, the engine dies, no, no fuel go to the engine. This car right now running on the EFI 108 on the CD mode in 11 amps, it lock on 11, it jumps uh, 10, 9, 12 on the amps, but uh, the amps are locked. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how that works. Uh, just go here, I'm going to increase the number. And then I want to show you guys the needle of the I've got a 126. I'm going to increase more. Take more fuel out of the engine to the injectors. This, this car has no EFIs or no nothing, just uh, one wire connect to the, the injectors, and then this this device controls the injectors. And um, we're cutting fuel, and the check engine never come on, and uh, it works perfectly. Not one. Not 146, they had to be on this guy with 100 or something like that. 146, too much. I'm just gonna show you more. I more I take in fuel, uh, you can see the needle on the RPM start um, moving because the engine is starving. And eventually, if I take more fuel and more fuel, and it's gonna die, you can see like the needle right there, it's moving up and down, and then more. The car is already shaking, and now it's shaking badly. I'm gonna put it back. I hope it won't stop. <laughs> it's uh, 170, and then stabilize. I don't think so. It moves from here because it's taking too much fuel. Now it's uh, 160 something, 156. Um, I can uh, let's wait. It has to wait to stabilize, and then I'm gonna save. I can save highway or city. Um, if I move the mode to highway, let's let's finish. Stabilizing the RPM. It's an old truck, it's 1999. Uh, I used this car to go to the beach. And um, it has this hydrogen, hydrogen box a long, long time, more than five years. Using this device more than five years. Stabilize 110, 19. And it's safe. Yeah. I can save highway. And then. I have uh, already set for the highway. Oh, I say I'm sorry. I say this. Save the city. City is a 160 something, 108, and the highway is a 69. Just to show you guys, normally it's 68 for a city and 10 something for a highway. Here the amperage on the box, on the highway, because it's highway. I put a 16 amps, and uh, it locks on 16. It's gonna jump back and forth because I just move from city was like the city was 9 I think or 11 it's going to jump 11 12 when I go to the highway and then uh, cut less fuel and uh, the amperage is, is higher it's going to lower to um, I mean going to go high to 16 take a little while till it stabilizes and then go to the 16 and it's just like a 3% difference, like uh, the arrow is 3%. If I put a 16 amps, just 3% high or low, it go up and down 
no more than that. Just now it's 16. If I lower the amps, I can lower the amps. And 8 amps, it's gonna jump around and then it's gonna lower the amperage. Take a little while just lower because it's gonna find ground to go uh, low to go high easy to go low is a little take a little more time let me revolve the engine a little bit Now it's finding the ground, 10 amps, it's going to go to 8, it's going to lock on 8. Could jump a little bit higher and low, but you know, if you measure on the, on the cell, it's, it's exactly 8 amps right now. Then I can um, save highway, and it'll be saved. And um, that's the way we, we do the fuel injection and the, and the hydrogen cell. Uh, and then no EFIs, no nothing, nothing connected to the oxygen sensor, the oxygen sensor, original oxygen sensor, nothing to do anything. We don't mess with the computer. The computer does all the calculation has to be done. We just cut a little bit uh, of fuel on the back door and uh, it works really great. And this car is, uh, it does like uh, between 38, 42 miles, uh, I mean uh, 38 to 42 percent. Uh, increase on miles per gallon uh, depend how you drive how depend on living here in florida how flat nice and good to test it but sometimes the wind uh, could vary uh, make some variations on the um, on the fuel and uh, when i pull a trailer i just increase the amperage and put a little more fuel back uh, when i pull a trailer i have jet ski trailer and um, that's the, how we do thank you very much